Nowadays, with the emergence of social media, we've noticed that there's a lot of people who want to take the elevator to success instead of the stairs. Why do you think that so many people want participation trophies or what's your feeling or your opinion on giving participation trophies to people who aren't deserving in our industry? I think in our industries, like especially with social media, especially with the, the people that are coming up in the industry now, and, and I say that as somebody who's only been in, in I've been in the industry for less than 10 years, um, and just how it's changed, I think that the, I think a lot of younger stylists are seeing these stylists that grow these huge followings overnight, and, and as a licensed stylist that has been doing this and knows the right way to do things and the wrong way to do things. You see a lot of wrong way to do things and those people are still getting participation awards because they have such a big social media presence. Um, I don't think participation trophies are necessarily a bad thing. I think it's more of people are looking for an instant gratification, that instant um, clientele, the, the social media fame, and coming from somebody who has spent the better part of six years really trying to focus on my social media and build that up because I thought that's what I needed to do in order to be a successful stylist. Um, I've been doing it for six years. I think I might have 3,000 followers and I thought that that was amazing. Um, but it's not until you're behind the chair for years and you build up that clientele and you are booked out for two months solid that that's when you get to claim that trophy. If, if what you want is the social media praise, you can get the social media praise and you can get your participation trophy but to me as a hairstylist it's it's people walking around with my hair um people in my town referring me to their friends and and that's the award that i think people need to go for is is the award of being a good hairstylist that's known in your area as opposed to being a hairstylist that's kind of known on instagram